Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Welcome to another Pastor's Corner. I am Brother J. A. Molan, the pastor of the Greater Peace Missionary Baptist Church, located in the community of Colleen and Fort Hood. We greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Now, concerning the reopening of Greater Peace for in-house worship, we will not be doing that in the very near future, but when we are ready to go back into the house, we will keep you apprised of those dates. I'll give you maybe a week or two weeks notice before we come back in for in-house worship. I'm going to keep on saying this until I am blue in the face. God is still in charge of what's going on in his world. I'm not saying God causes everything that happens that happens in the world, but he's still in charge of his own world. Everything is going to work out according to his timing. Everything going to work out according to his schedule. We just have to keep on believing in him. Again, I thank you for carrying on the ministry here at Greater Peace. I thank those of you who are allowing the Lord to use you, to use the gifts, to use the talent, to use the spiritual gift that he has given unto you. For his glory. Thank God for those of you who are doing whatever you can in these days to continue to glorify, honor, and praise the Lord. We ask that you continue to pray for all those who have already asked for prayer in the past. Continue to pray for them. I know some of you are going through some trying times now. You're going through some difficult times with this COVID-19 upon us as it is and our country seeming to be uh, falling apart in some places, especially in our government. We know that you are facing some sicknesses in your body. We ask that you continue to trust the Lord. Wait on the Lord and let him give you his peace. Pray for our school system. Pray for our children. Pray for our teachers and staff. They are still working to help our children. And we ask that you would continue to pray for them. Pray for all of the first responders, medical personnel, our military, and our government leaders. We all, whether we recognize it or not, whether we realize it, whether we accept it or not, we all need prayer. God does many things as a result of his people praying. Continue to pray for each other. And pray for what is going to come about in 2021. We don't know what's going to happen in 2021. But let's pray that God will lead us continually and guide us and direct us in the path of righteousness. Now, your 2020 uh, statement, tax giving statement, will be available at the church. You can pick them up in the foyer in this month of January. You can make an appointment to come and pick them up uh, any day of the week. You could even call someone to let you in on a Wednesday because the secretary is not here on Wednesday. One thing I did leave out, and I don't want to leave this out, 
and that is as we continue to bless the Lord for all of his goodness, his mercy, and his grace, there are some immediate needs that we need to pray for right now. Pray for Sister Carolyn Ruth in that situation in her life. Brother William King. Sister Jesse Anderson. Brother and Sister Frederick and Wanda. Pray for them. Just keep them lifted up before the Lord. Now that the Lord has allowed us to come into 2021, remember we shared some Christian desires with you? I believe it was on the last week. There are some others that I would like to share with you at a later date, but uh, please let's remember that God has promised to give us the desires of our hearts. There's another thought that comes to mind uh, from the Word of God. The word, the two words, let us, are uh, mentioned in the Bible some 190 to 200 times. The word, let us. In Luke 8, 22, Jesus wanted to go to the other side with his disciples in a boat. He told them, let us go to the other side. Now this was a way of testing their faith. Would they take Jesus at his word when he said, let us go to the other side? Now Jesus knew what the condition was were going to be as they got in, into the boat. Do you have a storm in your life today? And you don't know what to do? See, Jesus always knows what to do. Jesus told the disciples, let us go to the other side knowing what was going to happen. And you know what happened when they got into the boat, and they were rowing to the other side, something came up, a storm came up. That's the attitude, or should I say, that's one of the attitudes that we should have in 2021. We ought to have the attitude of let us go on with the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us continue to trust in him. Let us do what we know he has said unto us. Let us go all the way from earth to heaven with Jesus Christ. Let us take our burdens, our problems, our disappointments, to the Lord, our bad relationship to the other side, and let the Lord have it. So as we go into 2021, please adopt an attitude of let us. Yes, we are many members, but we are one body. When one child of God hurt, another child hurt. When one child of God experiences joy, other children of God should be rejoicing with them. Let me remind you now that this church, the Greater Peter Midnight Baptist Church, is here for you. If there is a pressing issue, and you need to talk to someone, 
about it or you need someone to pray with you and for you, we have a team of deacons. Each of you have been assigned to a particular deacon. You're on that deacon's list. You can call that person and have them pray with you. Or you can call any of the deacon and have them pray with you. Or you can check with any child of God. Team up with them and pray one for the other. I know we have some prayer warriors here at Greater Peace. I know we have some people who trust in the Lord. I know we have people who are leaning on the Lord. So get with a partner and pray with them about your situation. Let me say once again, Auxiliary Head, please make out your list for 2021 and turn them in for the to the office. A list of who will serve as your facilitator during the 2021 calendar year. Now we had planned to have a January 15 meeting here at 6 p.m. at the church, but until I bring further information on that, let's not uh, plan on meeting on the 15th, but turn your officers in, please. And then we'll take it from there. Now, before I close the pastor's corner session, if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, as long as the blood is running warm, in your veins, it is not too late. You can get to know the Lord Jesus Christ by coming to him and acknowledging in his presence that you are the person that he says you are. In other words, if you're unsaved, you're lost. If you're unsaved, you're still a lost sinner. But the Lord can change that. Oh, I said he can change that. He can change that in a moment. He can change that the moment you put your trust in him. He can make you a brand new person. You know, scripture does tell us that if any man be in Christ, or any woman be in Christ, or any child be in Christ, that person, those people are new. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Just ask Jesus to come into your heart. Ask him to come into your life. Let him know that you recognize that you are a sinner and that you want to be saved. Let him know that you believe that he died for you. He rose again from the dead for you. He has all power in his hand. He has saving power, giving power, living power, any kind of power that you need in your life. Just trust him. The only way you're going to come to the Father, you've got to come through the Son. You come to Jesus who is the Son of God, who is our Savior, who is our Redeemer, come to Him if you're going to get to the Father. If you do this, if you surrender your life to the Lord, He will give you His blessed salvation. He will save your soul. You will spend eternity with him. You will enjoy the rest of your days on this earth. You will rejoice in the Lord. As I sign off this Pastor Corner's session, I'm going to say this, to God be the glory. All praises, all honor, and all of the glory 
belong to him. Now, let us pray. Our God and Heavenly Father, Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is with great gratitude, it is with thanksgiving in our heart that we come before you. Thanking you for being God. Thanking you for being Lord. Thanking you for being Savior. Thanking you for being our Redeemer. We thank you for last night's sleep. We thank you for keeping us all night long. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this day, giving us a day that was not promised unto us. And we ask now, Lord, that you let this day be used for your glory, for your praise, for your honor. Let us walk with you today in faith, by faith, through faith. Let us have the faith of Jesus Christ in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that you are moving in spite of what we're going through. You are still blessing us. You are still keeping us. You are still going before us and leading us in the path of righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for being our righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for your love, your mercy, and thank you for all that you have done, all that you are doing right now, all that you have promised to continue doing in our lives while we are on this earth. And thank you for promising us that when this life is over down here, you've already prepared a home for us in glory. It is in Jesus' name we thank you. Amen.